there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video, I'll show you how to create a fall damage system. So behind me over here, we have a few blocks, and essentially every single block represents one meter. So how this system works is the higher up you are, the more damage you're going to take. So let's say I jump from three blocks, which is equivalent to three meters, and I'll take no damage because I'm not high enough. And of course, you can adjust uh, from what height you'd like to take the damage. So let's say I jump from, I believe that's six or five, we'll jump, we'll take some damage. There we go, that's 40. So if I jump all the way from the very top, I should die. Um, my character doesn't have any that animation, but of course, um, it's very easy to add in. So let's jump and let's die. So that's pretty much it. And with all that said, let's begin. Open up your project and let's go to the content drawer. Over here, you want to go to your player character. I'm using Brady, so that's where I'll go. And inside the event graph, you want to right click and create a custom event. Now this custom event, you can rename to anything you'd like. I'll simply call it falling and then get a event on landed and simply just plug that into here. So search for falling or whatever you called it. And that should work just fine for us. Then, um, as you've seen at the very beginning, I actually have a health system set up. So if you don't have one, I'll link it down below because I need to create apply damage in the falling event. And for that to work, I need a event and a damage. So I'll just be using my health system uh, to plug it into here. So let's get our health. Let's subtract the damage just like so. I'll get a clamp so my thing doesn't go over the minimum and the maximum. So clamp and I'm using a float. Then for the max, max health goes here. And we can just set this up here and that's done. You can comment this and I'll comment it event any, oops, any damage. Uh, that should be fine. And I won't touch this anymore. That's all good. So over here in the falling event, I need to check if my player is falling. So let's get the character movement and do is falling. So if we are falling, get a branch and on true, something will happen and on false, nothing will happen. So then I'd like to get my player's velocity. So get player character and then from the blue pin, get velocity and you should find this all the way at the bottom, just like so and split the pin because we are interested in the Z value. Um, so from here, get a multiply node. And what you want to do, you want to multiply this by minus one. Then from here, we want to do a check. So get greater. And we are checking from what height we should take damage. So um, the higher the value, the higher you need to be to take damage. So I figured out a, about 900 works fine for me. So of course, play with this value if you have to then put that into true and from the multiply node let's get a divide and divide this by 50 i'll explain in one second why then from here get another divide and divide this by five so um if this was a thousand if we divided it by 50 we'd get 20 and 20 divided by five would be four so our base damage is going to be four right click get a power node and plug this into the base damage. Then for the exponential increase, what we want to do, get a divide once again. And of course, you can mess around with these values. Um, this works fine for me. So 3000 there. And then add a 2. So that will be a 2.33 increase. 2.3 or just 2. Um, I got confused there. And you want to plug this into here. Then let's create or let's promote this to a variable. That works fine. And I'll call this fall damage. Now this will go into true. And from here we can do apply damage. Now the damaged actor is going to be ourselves. So just get a self reference like so. For base damage, plug the fall damage into here. And for the damage type, it's going to, or for the damage class, it's going to be damage type. And if you'd like a print string, it's not necessary, but if you do, get a print string. 
and connect the fall damage into the string, you'll get something like this and put that there. So um, I believe that's essentially everything. So let's comment this code and call this something like fall damage. And if I go to compile and save, this should work just fine. So let's hit play. I have full health. If I go to, let's say, five and have a jump, I should take damage. There we go. That works. That's fine. 32. And just to see if I can kill this character, let's go to 10. And I should take 82 damage like before. So yeah, there we go. 81. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.